everybody, welcome back to my channel and this is me again, your teacher Russell. This video is going to be very special because I will make a series about this video since I noticed that there are many people in my Facebook page asking me on how to become an ESL teacher. I have been doing this job for 14 years now, so I think I can give you a lot of tips, a lot of things that you can consider before applying as an ESL teacher. So I'm going to give you very important tips that are very useful when you are preparing to become an ESL teacher. So I want you to focus on these five tips because I don't want you to waste your time applying for a job that you are not yet ready. So before you apply for a certain job, it is very important that you know what to do. go to tip number four what are you going to do you have to prepare for an interview I said interview you can say interview also but in American English we just say interview just like that don't say that's my arte because that is how you should pronounce it interview interview is more like British or Australian but in American English, we just say interview. What are the things that you have to expect when having an interview? First thing that you have to remember is that all the questions are being asked in English, of course. So just like what I've said in the first part of this video, you are not supposed to speak in Filipino because you will be teaching English for your students. So what's the use of speaking in Filipino? The interviewer would want to know how versed you are in speaking English. Being an online teacher doesn't have a script, so you should know how to speak English well. I mentioned about the pronunciation and the accent, it doesn't have to be perfect. The interviewer would just want to assess how well you can speak English. I'm telling you this because I don't want you to waste so much time in applying for many other companies where you are not yet prepared to have an interview. So yes, please practice speaking English at home. If you are already good at speaking English, that will be a niche. That will be better. Also, when you are having an interview, always be respectful. Always use the right tone of voice. Practice the tone of voice that would make you sound respectful because sometimes there is a big miscommunication just because your tone is different. So make sure that your tone is not too high because a high tone can sometimes mean that you are angry or upset about something. So try to develop a tone that is modulated, okay? Not too high, not too low. A very low tone of voice may also sound boring. So the interviewer would actually want to hire a teacher who can be fun. Students love to have a fun teacher. Students want a teacher who can keep the class interactive and fun and not boring. So also you have to practice your tone. Tone is also very important. In English, we cannot say po or opo just to tell the other person that you are being respectful to them. So what can we do instead? We need to practice how to modulate our voices, how to make that pleasant tone when you're speaking to someone. I know that it's not easy to be in an interview because it will definitely make you feel nervous, but if you know how to speak English, if you think you're qualified enough to be a teacher, then I guess there's nothing to fear. You just have to be confident about yourself, right? One thing that I want you to remember is to have a white background. Well, this one is not plain, but it's okay because it's also white, generally white, but if you can have a plain one, that would be much better. If you use other colors, it can hurt someone's eyes, and so it's preferable that you always have the white background because interviews are done online and you need to turn on your camera 
that's why you need to be decent especially when it comes to your background don't make your background messy it should be plain as this as much as possible i also suggest that you should invest in a good headphone just like what i'm using i'm using logitech so this has a noise reduction other headsets even have a noise cancellation it is important that when you're doing an online teaching your background is quiet but in some situations we cannot avoid you know having a noisy background this headphone actually lessens the noise so sometimes even if my neighbors are doing karaoke is video okay <laughs> um, yeah I'm asking my students if they can hear it but they said no they can't so it's a little bit pricey it's I think around 2,900 but it's really worth it um, by the way this is not a paid promotion <laughs> um, I'm just really using this because yeah it, uh, the quality is good the voice your voice is actually clear um, I can pretty much tell because sometimes I tried using my headset in my Samsung phone and my other students told me that my voice sounds different so I guess yes um, investing in a good headphone is also a must anyway you will be using this for more than two years or three years my old um, headphone I think I used it for yeah more than three years what else do you have to remember during an interview you need to make sure that your internet is working fine you need to have a wired connection broadband is no no it's a big no-no so at least if you can have a 10 mbps and above that is a perfect speed and of course your laptop make sure that there's a lot of storage available in it because in some companies um, if they do not have a platform then the thing is you need to download some of the books but in my company we don't have to download books anymore because it is in google drive so you can just access it as long as you have the internet yes there's nothing to worry what else of course your appearance is very important as well wear comfortable but decent clothes it would be better if you can actually wear a polo shirt or a blouse a formal blouse because well you want to create a good first impression we always have the saying that first impression lasts so maybe if you did not impress the interviewer there is a chance that she might not actually get you as a teacher also I want you to remember that a while ago I told you to sell yourself tell everything about your strengths your capabilities to become an English teacher but please don't overdo it because if you do that maybe the interviewer might think that you are kind of a conceited person and you do not want to create that impression now let's go to the last tip that I'm gonna give you for today what is it aside from that interview you always have to prepare for the exam yes aside from the actual interview there is also a written exam actually in other companies they would ask you to do the written test first just like in my previous company I have to do the TOEIC test so a TOEIC test in um, will will measure your listening skills your speaking skills your writing skills and what else your comprehension skills but in my new company I did not take the TOEIC test anymore but I took a grammar test so it is basically about subject verb agreement prepositions you know the basic things because those are the most important skills that we have to teach our uh, to our students so be prepared okay review on the subject verb agreement review on the use of prepositions I also want you to think of an answer to a certain problems or common problems that might actually appear in the classroom or in the class for example what if your student misbehave what if your student um, doesn't want to read well <laughs> what are you gonna do in that situation so maybe some of the other questions might be situational so yes I hope I gave you a lot of tips for today and I really hope that you learn something from me so in other companies it is exam first before the actual interview in other companies it is the interview first before 
the exam. So it really depends on the company you're applying for. So yes, we're done with all those five tips, most important things that you have to remember in preparation to become an ESL teacher. So I will make uh, probably four more videos related to this. I will make a series about it. Um, I'll try to upload it as soon as I can. Also, if you have any questions, please write your comments in YouTube so it won't be difficult for me to reply, okay? Because if I will manage my Facebook page plus my YouTube, it will take too much time to reply. And as you know, I told you that I'm working full-time from Monday to Friday. So I am shooting this video every Saturday and I still have to edit it. So, ha, huh, it, it's... it's it's kind of tiring but well i love doing this and also your comments and videos will also help my channel boost my video engagement if i'm not busy and if i don't have any students i'll try to reply to your questions as soon as i can and also if you're new to this channel please help my channel out help me grow my channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also the notification bell Take note i upload videos every 8 p.m Sunday, Philippine local time. Also, if you want to improve your accent and your pronunciation, I have this video right here. I will also um, uh, put the link in the description box below so you can get some tips on how to improve it. So I guess that's it for today. Thanks for your time. I'm going to see you again in my next video. Have a nice day!